we are going to be thinking about the big question, what do heroes do? This is the story of Cesar Chavez. It's a true story, and it tells you the story of his entire life, and so it is a biography. Cesar Chavez is considered a hero by many people. Remember, this week we're thinking about what it means to be brave, what it means to make sacrifices, what it means to help others. And there can be many, many, many different ways of doing those things. So this comes straight from our Reading Writing Workshop book. I wanted to read it aloud just in case that would help you out with the reading and also so that we can have a chance to think about it together. So Cesar Chavez. Who are your heroes? For many farm workers, Cesar Chavez is a hero. He is the brave man who spent his life helping them. Childhood. So this story is set up in sections to help you understand the sequence of events. Right now we're talking about when he was a kid. Cesar Chavez was born in Arizona. His parents taught him about learning, hard work, and respect. Cesar worked on the family farm as a young boy. He helped care for the farm animals. His mother and grandmother taught Cesar about caring. Many people came to their door asking for food, and his kind family always shared. I would think that if you were really hungry and needed food and someone was willing to share, they would be a hero to you. Cesar had a strong interest in education. This desire to learn was sometimes hard on him. Spanish was his first language, but he needed to study and learn English. At school, he was punished for speaking Spanish. I'm thinking that it would be brave to keep going to school, even if you knew you, when you accidentally spoke your language, you would be punished for it. That would be like if when you went to school, if you said something in English to a friend and I got you in trouble because of that. His mother taught Cesar to find peaceful ways to solve problems. These lessons helped him succeed later in life. He would win struggles without fighting. We have superheroes who have awesome action sequences and do help people through fighting, but there are many other ways to help others. And so Cesar Chavez is an example of someone who is a hero without being violent. Hard times. When Cesar was 10, it did not rain for a long time. This drought caused the plants on the farm to die. Without crops to sell, Cesar's family couldn't afford to keep the farm. Then Cesar's family moved to California where there was no drought. His family traveled from farm to farm and worked the crops. So they no longer have their own farm, they're helping other people collect the crops from their farms. Cesar and his family would quickly discover that migrant farm workers had difficult lives. Their challenging jobs forced them to work long hours for little money. The workers bent over all day tending the crops. The work they had to perform made their backs hurt and their fingers bleed. If the workers complained, farm owners fired them. Changing lives. Cesar knew the migrant farm workers were not treated fairly, so he decided to take action. He told the migrant workers he had a plan. It was time for the grapes to be harvested or picked. Cesar told the workers to stop working. This is what's called a strike. The grapes began to rot. With no grapes to sell, the landowners lost money. Finally, the owners talked to Cesar. They promised better pay. After that, the workers began picking crops again. Cesar worked for the rest of his life to improve farm workers' lives. Would you agree that he's a hero? So to explain what happened there, Cesar was aware of how unfair the people were being treated. They were not being paid much. They were being forced to work really long hours in really difficult conditions and hurting their bodies. Something that still happens today if you're trying to be a farm worker. Um, and he realized, you know, the farmers are willing to fire people who complain or ask to be treated better. But at the same time, what would they do if we didn't do the work? And so he proposed if everyone decided not to do the work for as long as they could, farmers would then eventually, because they need their crops to be picked, would need to be able to, would need to make a deal with them, essentially, would need to talk to them and say, okay, what would it take for you to come back and help pick the crops? Notice on this page that down at the bottom, there's a timeline. This week you're working on sequence, and this book has an example of a timeline. It goes through decades. We've talked about those when we're counting by tens. So you have 1920, 1930, 1940, 1950. See on that long row. 
and then it points out dates along that timeline. So you know that, say, in 1927, that's when Cesar was born. It's the beginning of his biography. You have um, 1937 was when his family moved to California. You can do some math and figure out that he was 10 years old, just like they said in the story. So you can go through date by date. It's a way to see in a kind of clear visual way the order of events. So in that question, was he a hero? If someone organizes people and is willing to take a risk of perhaps being fired, um, perhaps have, losing his job and not being able to support his family, but doing that so that other people are treated fairly, does that perhaps make them a hero? And something to think about too, are people treated very well right now? Are there still some people who maybe need to be heroes to stand up for other people who aren't being treated fairly? So that's Cesar Chavez. I hope you enjoyed it and that helps you out with your work for the week.